Here's an argument against EVs that we get a lot. You're not going to be able to make enough batteries to put in all those electric cars. Ha! So, is he right? Can we make enough batteries to put in all those newfangled electric cars? To answer this question, we'll need to know a few things. First, what will the average EV battery size be when we reach 100% EV saturation? How do we figure that out? Well, we know that a Nissan LEAF, for instance, has a 40 kilowatt hour battery, and the biggest Tesla battery is 100 kilowatt hours. So for the sake of this calculation, let's say that the average EV battery will be somewhere in the middle. Okay, let's say 70 kilowatt hours. Great, now we need to know what materials go into making the battery. So maybe we should give a quick overview of what a lithium ion battery looks like inside. There's a positive electrode, or anode, an electrolyte with a separator, and a negative electrode called a cathode. It's also important to point out that battery cell chemistry is constantly evolving as better formulations are discovered, so we can't know what EV batteries will look like even 10 years from now. So we'll be making our calculations based on today's Model S and X battery chemistry using the 18650 cell, lithium nickel cobalt aluminum battery. The anode is made of graphite, which is carbon. The electrolyte is lithium salt. The cathode is 80% nickel, 15% cobalt, and 5% aluminum. So here's a breakdown of how many kilograms of each material make up a 70 kilowatt hour battery. Lithium, 15 kilograms. Nickel, 103 kilograms. Cobalt, 19 kilograms. Aluminum, four kilograms. Graphite or carbon, 108 kilograms. Inside the battery, there's also copper and a thin strip of plastic used as a separator. Then there is the battery casing, which is made of aluminum. We estimate that there is 50 kilograms of copper, 25 kilograms of plastic, and 40 kilograms of additional aluminum used in the casing. All right, now that we know what goes into an average EV battery, we next need to know how many EVs will be on the road when we reach 100% EV saturation. Well, as of today, there is an estimated 1.2 billion vehicles and 7.6 billion people. I'm estimating that we'll reach 100% EV adoption in 25 years. I know that's faster than most people project, but I've been studying S-curves and the history of new technology adoption, and I think I'm right. Okay, so if you're right, then when we hit 2043, there will be 9.2 billion people, a 21% increase. So I guess that means that there'll be a 21% increase in vehicles too. So let's see, that's... Hang on. Don't forget what we've learned from our Autonomous Driving Future series. There will be far fewer cars on the roads in 2043. In fact, I estimate that there will be 10% of the number that you think we'll have. That's right. Okay, so let's see, that's 10% of the 1.2 billion vehicles we have today. That would be 120 million plus a 21% increase. So in 2043, there will be 145 million electric vehicles. So that means we'll need 145 million 70 kilowatt hour battery packs for all those cars. All right, so 145 million times each of those amounts of materials that we figured out before, and let's see what we need. We hear this in the media all the time, that there isn't enough lithium in the world. So is that true? Is 2.2 million tons a lot of lithium? According to the U.S. Geological Survey, there's 39.5 million tons of lithium resources in the world. So we have 17 times more lithium than we need for EVs. What about the other materials? Here are the reserve amounts for those materials. So it looks like we'll have plenty of materials to make EV batteries going forward. Yes, and keep in mind that these reserve amounts are just from known deposits on Earth. As we go searching for these materials, we tend to find more of them. I'd also like to point out that even if I'm wrong, and there are 10 times more cars in 2043 than I predict, we'll still have enough resources to make all of those EV batteries. We want to thank our Patreon patrons who not only helped us pick this topic, but also helped with the research. If you'd like to support our channel too, head over to Patreon and check out all the cool perks we've got over there. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Now, now you know. know.